Welcome back to Just Gildan. In this guide, I will go through the following topics. How to set up a mining account. What settings you should use. How often you can expect to receive a reward on average. Is it worth spending money to upgrade your PC to mine? Let's start by setting up a mining account. Go to add account. Then choose the name you want for your account. I'm going to call mine just Gildan Mining. And then click on mining account over here. Just enter your encryption password. And then hit OK. And straight away it takes you to the mining screen. So there's two big differences between a mining account and the rest. You can only create one mining account per wallet. So if you go back to add account, you can see you can't create another mining account, which makes sense because the resources you use on that machine can't be used by multiple accounts because you just don't have the resources to do it. So I'm going to click cancel here. The other difference is your mining account will only have one Gildan address that it will mine to. Now, if you already know your underlying computer hardware settings for CPU and memory, then go ahead and set your processor usage over on this top line and the bottom line your memory usage to four gigs, which is the max at the moment, and then click start mining. I'd also recommend checking the automatically mine at startup and keep application open when mining. This ensures each time that you start up the Gildan wallet, you'll automatically start mining Gildan without having to click the start button each time. You can still minimize the Gildan app while you mine and it'll continue to mine. So each time you discover a block, you'll earn 50 Gildan as a reward. And the longer you keep mining, the more Gildan you'll eventually earn over time. I will continue to mine while I go through the rest of the guide. And maybe I'll get extremely lucky and find a block while I'm going through this with you. The next part of the guide is to show users who are unsure of what settings to use for their processor and memory usage. In the description below, I have put the commands for Windows and Mac to see your system resources and in particular, you want to look at the logical processors and max memory. I will show you what mine looks like. Since I'm using Windows 10, I'll press the Windows plus R button at the same time and then type in MS Info 32. Let's type it in here, MS Info 32. So this will bring up the system summary for your PC. And the two things you need to look at is processor and your total physical memory. So let's look at the processor. In my case, I've got eight logical processors and you'll just need to see how many you have. Total physical memory installed is 32 gigs. Let me minimize this. So when I set my memory usage, I will use all four gigs. Since I have 32 gigs in total, I will be able to perform other tasks comfortably. However, if you're sitting with a PC or laptop that only has four gigs in total, I would recommend dropping this down to either three or two. Just because your operating system also needs memory to run and you might be performing other tasks on that laptop or PC. So I'm going to switch back to four gigs. However, for processor usage, it'll depend if I plan to use this computer for something other than mining. I will need to evaluate what tasks I'll be doing with this PC. And everyone's situation will be different. Some people might only use it for mining and other people will have multiple uses for their computer that they're mining on. For instance, if I am not using the PC 
or only plan to use it for mails and low-end tasks, I can leave it on max threads. If I decide to watch a movie, play games, or do work that requires more system resources, I would reduce this to about four. And then when I'm finished doing my work, I would raise it back to eight. So as you can see on this bar here, you can just move the slider to where you want the processor usage to be at. And I've set it to four threads in this case. So I will put this back to eight and leave it there. Awesome news for me. I actually discovered a block three hours into my mining session last night. Um, as you can see, my balance is now 50 for my mining account. And if you look at the transaction here, it came in 137 confirmations ago, which is about 5.5 hours ago. So I just woke up, came to have a look and yeah, well, the great news, I discovered this block. I got really lucky just because I'll show you the figures later. It should take me about 1.1 days to discover a block on average with the hash rate I have. Just one important thing to note, you need to have 101 confirmations before you can actually send your mining reward out. So let me just show you, I can actually send it out now because I've already had 137 confirmations. So if I go to my business account, uh, go to receive and then just copy the address here. Go back to my mining guild and accounts and then let's paste the address in here. And then max to send the 50 out and I'll just click send. And I put my pass, uh, encryption passphrase in. Click OK. Comes up to confirm that you want to send and there's a bit of a fee so I'm sitting there and now you can see my mining balance has zeroed and if you go to the business account it's got 148 and you can see the mining transaction I sent over here so I'll now move on to the next section of the guide In this section of the guide, I'll discuss is it worth spending money upgrading your PC to mine. In my opinion, absolutely not. Unless you plan to upgrade for other reasons besides mining, or you had the intention of purchasing a new PC in the near future. It has been proven time and again, if you're happy with your current PC for every other task, it is better to use that money to buy Gildan to witness or to store it. Why you get rewarded for mining? The more miners, the better the blockchain security. So by mining, you are doing your part in securing the Gildan blockchain. And with witnessing, Gildan's blockchain security has been bolstered by many magnitudes more. So why would people want to mine Gildan? Well, one, they don't want to spend money initially to play around with using Gildan. Two, Mining for a long-term profit. Three, mine to sell straight away on the market. And four, mine as a hobby to build up a decent Gildan portfolio. I'm not sure if you noticed, while I was doing this part of the tutorial, another 50 reward came in. Um, as you can see the transaction over here, and it's just two confirmations. So I actually have got really lucky uh, having two blocks within 12 hour period when I should only be getting one on average every 1.1 days. So what could actually happen is my next block could take two days to be discovered. It just depends. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. Now I wanna show you that I can't send a transaction because the 101 confirmations hasn't been confirmed. So let me just prove it. I go back to the business account and I go to receive, click on copy. Let's go back to the money account, send transactions. I'm going to copy the address in here, click max. And as you can see, I can't even do that. So I'm trying to put the 50 amounts in, send, it won't allow me. 
the amount you want to send exceeds your balance. Okay, so that's fine. Cancel out of that. For the final part of this guide, I'd like to discuss on average how often you can expect to receive a reward on your hardware. Let's first have a look at the speeds I get. So under mining statistics, on the second stat is moving average. That's the most important one. As you can see, I'm slightly above four. So in my calculations that I'll show you later on, I'll just say my speed is four on average. The other thing is Gildan averages 576 blocks per day. And I would need to find out the combined mining hash rate against the Gildan blockchain to complete the sum. To get this figure, you can go to daxual.com forward slash mining status dot PHP. And I'll put the link in the description below to this video. So let me just bring up the website quickly. Okay, so as you can see, the current hash rate is 2,631 and a half. Now that we have the three parts to the calculation, current hash rate, my average hash rate, and the 576 blocks per 24 hours, we can start working out on average what we can expect to achieve in terms of reward. However, just a word of warning, Gildan's hash rate can change depending on how many people are mining full time or periodically. And also the price is a big factor. The higher the price, the more likely people are to mine. The lower the price might dissuade people from mining. So let's move on to doing the calculation. To work out the average time you expect to find a block, do the following calculation. Take the network hash rate divided by your hash rate divided by 576. So on my PC, the calculation will go as follows. 2,631.5, which was the Gildan network hash rate that we saw on Daxual.com, divided by four megahertz, which is my average hash rate, divided by 576, which is the daily block counts on average for Gildan. And I'm expected to earn Gildan reward every 1.14 days. So please bear in mind, I keep using the word average because that's what it is. So in my particular case, it could take two days to find a block or two or more blocks in one day, which we saw occur while I was making this guide. This concludes the mining guide. I hope it's been helpful in getting you started with Mining Gildan. See you in the next guide and take care.